I'm Leon Jackson and this is mirror.co.uk. So Leon, you're back at last. What took you so long? Um, making my album. Um, we, did, we decided, you know, to take the time necessarily to make the best album possible, you know. I don't understand how people can think you can cobble a record together and expect it to rival the mainstream artists because, mm. you know, it won't happen. You know, you've got to make a really good art album that's going to rival the likes of Duffy and all the guys out there, you know. So um, it was great that the record label gave me time to develop as an artist and as a person, you know. I've got mm. to let it all sink in and uh, really focus on my music. And what can fans expect from the album? Um, the album is a mixture of singer-songwriter elements like acoustic, um, also mixed in with some jazz, you know, like modern jazz elements. I've tried to draw on all of my influences, you know, from Michael Bibley to Amy Winehouse to James Morrison to Duffy. So um, it's been an absolutely fantastic project to work on and I'm really proud of it. Mm -hmm. Any favourite tracks? Uh, there's a couple. Um, Don't Call This Love's my favourite track, which is the first single, uh, reason being um, because I think, you know, it's a really strong song that I think people can relate you to. You can try your best to deceive, but I know where you've been now. And you can cry your heart out to me, but it's hard to I think it's out of my hands, to be honest. Mm. You know, I think for any artist releasing any new music, they're bound to be nervous or you know, apprehensive. At the end of the day, I know for a fact I've put 110% in, and um, you know, it's just whether or not people can take to it or not. Mm. I know I've done my bit. So we've just seen you on The X Factor. How did you find it? Um, it was lovely to go back. I went back for a rehearsal on the Friday and was just filled with so much nostalgia. And, I got to meet all the contestants and see my old haunts, you know, from backstage to the dressing rooms and all that. So um, it was really, it was quite daunting going back, you mm -hmm. know, even though I wasn't being judged, I voted, um, you know, being in front of the judges again, being in front of the nation, you know, with a new song that they don't particularly know. It was quite scary and, um, you know, but I, I was much more comfortable up on that stage this time around and, you know, enjoyed being up there with the band, which was fantastic. I was uh, still a bit nervous, you know, because there was a lot of pressure riding on my shoulders, etc. Um, but nonetheless, I had a great time, and the only thing I was disappointed in was that my throat dried up a little. Sometimes it dries up and affects uh, some of the notes that you try to hit and stuff, mm. which is a bit frustrating. So does Danny still keep in touch at all, help you out in any way? I speak to Danny on the phone and the text message. Um, I've seen her recently at the Tidy Britain Awards because we had... Uh, presented an award together alongside Louis Walsh, mm -hmm. which was great. And you know, she's got the album and she's gave me her feedback on that. And you know, I, and I always see her as a mentor, somebody I can turn to. Mm -hmm. So that's great. What did she say about the album? She's very pleased with it. She's uh, she commented it on the show as well. She says, you know, um, I've heard the album and it's fantastic. And you know, she was just rubbing into Simon that it was her that discovered me rather than <laughs> him type of thing. What's been the most memorable thing that's happened then since The X Factor? Well, apart from winning, uh, it's got to be performing with Michael Bibley in July uh, in my home crowd in SCCC in Glasgow. Um, purely because he had introduced me on stage as Leon Jackson, the mm. artist, whereas the first time in Wembley I was just Leon, the finalist. So for me, that was amazing to step up and do it, you know, one of his hit songs, and for him to believe in me enough to do that and just call mm. me up at the audience. So. Okay. Um, and what about girls? You must have a flock of them following you now. Well, then. it's an um, improvement for the school days, I'll tell <laughs> you. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm just having fun and stuff. Being a, I'm just a 20-year-old almost, you know. So just having fun and, you know, about to be a lot of guys out there cursing me, you know, and I'm just living at their dream. So. <laughs> Anyone special? No, not at the moment. No? Um, so you, you, your life's obviously changed a lot. Although, since... Sorry, I've got my eye on uh, Geraldine uh, from Pop Factor. Uh, Geraldine, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Started with nothing, <laughs> and now I've got something. Na, 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 na. You could release that. My winning song. <laughs> I've always liked, I've always had a soft spot for Irish girls. 